Open IPC has been pretty impressive thus far and for good reason. It's lightweight, the camera has really good resolution, and the best part is it's inexpensive because it's open source. But this system isn't entirely perfect, and the biggest limitation being the lack of FPV goggles currently on the market. So we can't really fly with our drones like this forever, can we? <laughs> it is called first person view, right? Well, today we might have a solution to use your existing goggles. So let's get into it. Okay, for today's example, we'll be using the HD Zero goggles, and this is pretty much the perfect platform to test this open IPC. Now this has really good optics and a high refresh screen around 90 Hertz. Now, if you don't have these HD Zero goggles, your goggles might also work as long as it has an HDMI input. Now, besides that we have our open IPC drone here, this is the Emacs Tiny Hawk 2, and we do have the open IPC camera and VTX installed in this drone. Now, if you want to install this in your drone as well, I've done a full video showing you how to do that, and it's surprisingly very easy, guys, fairly simple. Now, besides that, we have the VRX or receiver, and this is the main reason for this whole video. This doesn't have an HDMI output. Now, hopefully in the future, some developers and manufacturers can make a VRX or receiver that has an HDMI out that can easily interface with our existing goggles. Next, we have pretty much the most crucial part to make this whole thing work, and that is a USB-C hub. More specifically, a USB-C hub with an HDMI output. And that's gonna convert this to HDMI for our FPV goggles. Last but not least, let's talk about the cables needed to make this whole thing connect together. First thing is our USB-A to USB-C cable. This one came with my Emacs receiver, but I do think you have to buy this separately. More specifically, make sure you have a OTG cable on the end to interact with your mobile device. Next, we'll need an HDMI cord. I actually have mine on the floor right now. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Finally, you need a standard HDMI adapter to micro HDMI connector here. And this is to interact with the interface on your goggles here. So you can't use a standard HDMI port. It's just too large. So you'll need a smaller version of that right here. Now, there are many options to make this whole thing work. In my case, these are the simplest, but you can find some more extreme cables here. This one here is a standard HDMI to USB-C and it has actually a USB-C hub already built into it with an HDMI port here. So this is pretty cool. Now I had this already from my previous phone, but anything here can work. As long as you have these basic parts, it can work. This will just make your job a little bit easier. All right, so let's connect this whole thing together and see if it actually works. All right, so the first thing here, we need some power for our goggles. We have our battery port right here. We'll turn that on very shortly. Next, we want to connect our actual VRX to the USB-C hub and our device. Now, currently at the time of filming, Open IPC requires a mobile device, more specifically an Android device to make this whole thing work and to decode the actual information from the camera. So let's just power this thing up here. And we have our, our app right here, FP View app here. And we're just going to plug it in here first. This goes into the VRX. And the other end with the OTG cable, would normally go into your mobile device. Because we are trying to get a HDMI output, we will connect this to our USB-C hub. Mine has one plug here for data, one plug here for power. And that's gonna go into the phone with this USB-C port right here. And we should be good, it's powered up. I can see it powered up here. Next, I have my standard HDMI cable here. We're gonna plug it in here to the USB-C port. As you can see, it's become a little bit more cumbersome already right here. And now we have to plug this into our FPV goggles. Now, as I said before, this is too big. So we have the adapter right here to do that. And hopefully you can find a cable that adapts it for you immediately. And all we have to do is just plug this into our goggles and we should be good to go. So let's power up our VRX. I'm going to power this up. Perfect. Yes, it's already open. We're good. And let's power up our FPV drone that we have right here. I do have a fan as well to keep this drone cool. And let's power this thing up. Now, technically we should have a video here popping up very shortly, which is good. Hopefully that happens. And boom, there we go. We have an image right here. All right, so we can see 720p at 120 frames per second. I'm gonna power on my goggles now and see if this thing actually works. Right here it says HDMI in, which is pretty cool for the HD Zero goggles. Boom. And I can change my source. We're gonna change my source right now. It says HDMI in detected. 
and boom, we have an image. Not too bad. Can I fly with this? I think I can fly with this. This is actually really clear. Now, unfortunately guys, the only limitation of this entire system and process is the fact that this doesn't record HDMI in, this HD0. If you hit the record button, it does not record. So maybe that's something that they can change via software, but I don't know of many goggles that can do that. So if you wanna record your DVR, you might wanna do it with your phone right here. This is what I plan to do. Now, as I said before, you really can't see this because you can't see the goggles, trust me. So what I'm gonna do here is show you what I'm looking at in my computer here. All right, so I just plugged this into my recorder here and as you can see, everything here works. It's really nice actually. So this proves that you can use this hub to have an HDMI out to go to your goggles. And this is actually how it's gonna look. Now it's not perfect as you can see, we have the border on the right side here, showing you the navigation for my phone here. So this phone here is very new. Um, this might vary based upon the phone that you have. This phone here specifically is a Samsung and typically when you plug an HDMI cable into a Samsung, it goes into DeX mode. So I'm just gonna back out of it, close the app. I'm gonna fire up DeX. And this is what it typically looks like when you plug an HDMI cable into a Samsung device. You will get DeX, pretty much a desktop version of your phone. Now I have a trackpad right here. Here it is, I can open the app. And there it is. I should be able to maximize it. Okay, that's the full screen experience right there. So if I put my phone into DeX, I lose the navigation portion of my screen. But as you can see, it's a full screen experience. The only thing is that the bottom is showing like a, like a regular computer, your actual desktop. So you have the time, date, all that stuff. So this is what I plan to do to fly the open IPC until they make a goggles. And I can see that in my goggles while I'm flying. So that will be the preferred way to do it. And I think that's the way to go for now until the developers or manufacturer develop a actual goggles for this system. Now, if you have any questions about this entire process, leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer those questions. Now, in our next video, we'll see if we can get open IPC to work on our DJI goggles. I'm pretty excited about that. So if you wanna see that video, hit that like button and subscribe to be notified whenever I do drop that video. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.